All right, how are you doing guys? Manuel Dominguez with ValleyTudo.com and today we're talking to Luis Vega about his upcoming fight. Uh, how are you doing Luis, man? I'm, I'm doing good. How, how are you guys doing over there? Uh, um, sorry to interrupt you, but uh, tell me a little bit about the fight that you just had up in Laredo. About Laredo, the Laredo fight. I was supposed to fight a guy, at, uh, I think his name was Rene Gonzalez. Uh, I was supposed to fight him at 160. A week before the fight, he, he pulled out. He, 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 he didn't go through with the fight. One of my guys uh, got injured. Uh, uh, he was fighting at 175. So I got that fight at one week's notice. I was walking around, I think it was uh, 169, 168 when I got the fight. And uh, But you know what, man? I was just ready. I just wanted to go. I, I had been waiting too long to wait another time, you know, just to wait. I don't want to be waiting. I, I want to get, um, I want to, um, how could I put it? I want to keep on going with my career, you know? Uh, I mean, you you were off for a while because yeah. of the commission. They had put you yeah. on, you yeah, know, suspension on a medical. They they put me on a medical suspension uh, uh, because I fractured my orbital bone, and and they were making just a big deal about letting me fight again. They thought I was a uh, high risk of you know probably losing my eye or something. Uh, but how, how how was the process of trying to get them, or you did, uh, how many doctors did you go to to, to kind of get that? Uh, at first, workout? at first I didn't know the process. Uh, they nobody actually explained to me the process. They just uh, uh, told me call this person, call this person, call this person, and um, uh, I tried to talk to the doctor that uh, got me on that suspension. Uh, they didn't give me no information, and then at the end I, I spoke with Greg Alvarez, uh, uh, one of the commission guys, and um, he just told me about the process. Told me to go with an ophthalmologist. Uh, so I went with an ophthalmologist, uh, and she checked my eye, and you know, he just signed me off, said I was I was good to go. You, know? well, you were back in the ring, yeah. and you fought for uh, recon, I believe. As, as soon as as soon as they gave me a green light to fight, I, I was like already calling people. I was like, hey, hey, I'm I'm good to go. I'm good to go. I'm good to go. And, and you know, I got the fight. Like I think a week later, I got the fight. And uh, like I said, I was supposed to fight at 160. They were switching. It, it was kind of funny because I was they, at first they wanted me to fight at 170. And then they wanted me to fight at 160, and then back up to 170. And then, like, two weeks before the fight, they said, they told me, you know what? It's going to be set at 160 with this guy, the guy I told you about. And um, uh, so I was dropping, already cutting weight the last two weeks. I was trying to go to, uh, to 160. And uh, then they keep, uh, they call me and tell me that the guy pulled out. And I was like, damn, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for this. I, I, I just want to do this. Um, does that, does that take a toll on your body uh, like no. for the fight? You, you trying to yes. Uh, yes. lose weight for a certain fight and then like, you know what, you got to come back to 170. Does that take yeah, a toll on yes. Well? Yeah, uh, it does uh, mentally, yes. Mentally and physically, I was already losing weight. When you lose weight, you kind of lose uh, uh, some kind of strength. Uh, uh, and it's hard, you know, it, it's hard kind of to build on that, you know, because. Cause I mean, uh, uh, I was on a strict diet. Uh, uh, like I said, I, I was, I was, uh, I was going down in weight. Uh, I probably lost some muscle on my weight. On my weight down, lost some muscle. So you know, I, I could feel uh, a little difference on my, on, on my, um, on my strength. But anyways, uh, fortunately, they, they, I stepped in for another guy at 175. I was not too light. Uh, I was 168. Uh, uh, so I, I had a week to put, you know, kind of put some more weight back. I think I walked in and I weighed in after having breakfast and eating and drinking. I weighed in at 174 in this way. So, you know, that's not my natural walk weight. My natural walk weight is 170, 168, but I, it's there. Well, we're talking about weight, uh, you know, cutting weight and stuff like that. Uh, you, have a cut, you have a fight coming up yeah. next Saturday, um, and you're, you're fighting uh, Mike Salasad. Uh, he's just, he, he's coming off a win. Uh, he went up in the radio. He found the same card as you, and, and he won by stoppage of the second round. Um, have you been training? I know there's a little bit of tension there, or you know, maybe some back and forth. Have you been training a little bit different for this fight? Because this is your return yeah. back to STFC. Yeah. Um, are you training a little bit different because it's STFC, or maybe because of the fighter? Uh, no, same. I always train hard, regardless of who the fighter is. I always train hard. I. Um, this one's just a little bit different. Maybe? Uh, yeah, I have more, more more motivation for it. You know, I got a more motivation for it. You know, it's a, c a couple of issues. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to do with Mike. Mike, it doesn't have to do with you. But uh, but uh, you know, it's kind of like uh, me. Uh, it, it's 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 an exciting fight for me because it's my first time fighting back in my uh, in the valley. You know, and the and the that's I'm fighting at the place where I last fought in the valley. You know, where I had my injury. So it's kind of like uh, my uh, welcome back fight. You know, it's like. Uh, so that I'm just excited just for the fight itself, okay? Um, 
Um, mentally, I'm, I'm real, I'm real, um, real excited. I'm excited. I'm, I'm good to go, man. I'm, I'm good to go. And the good thing, I'm, I, I'm not cutting weight. I'm just walking in at that weight. Yeah. Uh, so both of you are coming off a win. Uh, so you know, Mike Salazar is confident. You're confident. Yeah. Uh, you're and you're, you're excited, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited, is, man. is there gonna be? You're gonna try and give, give the best show that you can to, to the fans. Yeah, I'm gonna try to put a good show. I got a lot of people going out and. and they're gonna go out and support me. Uh, uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't want to make no predictions or anything like that. But I'm gonna do what I do best, man. You know, that's that's put good fights. All right. Do you have anything else to say? Uh, um, well, if you guys want to go check out the fights, November 27 uh, at the McAllen Convention Center. Uh, uh, they're gonna be they're gonna be some good fights. Uh, I think Randy Lucio is gonna be in the house. Randy is gonna be in the house. Valley Two is gonna be in the house. There you go. Always, <laughs> always. So we're trying. Well, it's, it's gonna be. It's gonna be our welcome back to yeah. SCFC. SCFC también. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, thank you for giving us the interview, man. I appreciate it, uh, guys. Uh, tune in for uh, ValleyTwo.com for the fights. More information. Uh, SCFC. Uh, check out SCFC's Facebook. They're giving away tickets. Uh, trivia questions. I think it's every Wednesday and uh, throughout the week. And you can find more information on ValleyTwo.com. Manuel Dominguez. Respect the arts.